This activity is called May the Best Team Give. This activity is going to help the kids see that they should always give their best for others. Now, to begin, you're going to need uh, some large spoons. What you're going to do is, as you divide your kids up into teams, you're going to want to have two spoons for each team. I've actually got two teams here, so I've got four spoons. Two for Team A, two for Team B. You're also going to need to have some large grapefruits that you're going to put on the spoons. Now, if you've got younger kids, go ahead and use something a little bit lighter, like a bean bag or, or something like that. You're also going to need to print off your help sheet. All right, guys, I want you guys to line up. Here you go. Give each person a spoon. There you go. Give your buying back. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put the grapefruit onto the spoon. You're going to come down here, Pollo, all the way to the end of the line, and then you're going to turn and come back. Now, if you drop your grapefruit, you have to stop, pick it back up, and once you've got it secure again, you can come back. All right? Now, I'm going to time you. This is a race between Team A and Team B. Okay? Whoever has the best time, obviously, wins. All right? On your mark, pick up the grapefruit, put it on the spoon, get set, and go. Okay, very good. And you put it on there. All right, go, Charlotte, go, Charlotte. We're at about 12 seconds. Oh, we got a big comeback. Yeah, very nice. All right, good job. We have Team B. You guys won. All right, very good. I want to play this game again because it's a fun game. But we're going to change it up a little bit, all right? We're still going to take the best time. Whoever has the best time wins, just like in this last game. But what I want you to do this time is you're going to be racing for them, and you're going to be racing for them, all right? So whatever time you get, I'm going to give it to them. Whatever time you guys get, I'm going to give it to them. Whoever has the lowest time wins, all right? All right, go ahead and grab your grapefruit. Very good. And on your mark, get set, go. Here we go. Go, go, go. All right, very good. Now remember, whoever has the best time, we're giving that to the other team. Oh, my. All right, pick it up. And, 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 and. Here we go. Oh, very nice. All right. Team A, because they had the best time, that means Team B won the race. Yes. Very good. Now, that's all right. You guys did good. All right, now I want to ask you a couple questions. Come on, sit down now that we've played this several times. All right, let me ask you a question. Which was easier, okay, racing for your team or racing for the other team? It is. It's always easier to race and try and give your very best when there's something in it for you, isn't there? All right, so what was going on in your minds when you were racing for the other team? Were you going, man, I want to give my very best, or boy, if I just go a little bit slower, They'll win, which means we'll win. Did that thought cross anybody's mind? I did think that at mind? the beginning. Yeah. But then I gave my best. Well, yeah, and, the, and that's, I really think all you guys did give your very best in that race, which I'm proud of you. Because you know what? The Bible teaches us that we should always give our best. Now, it's easy to give our best when we know we're going to get something out of it. It's a lot harder to give our best when we know we're not going to get anything out of it. It's all for another person. But that's what the Bible wants us to do. The Bible says we should always give our best to others, even if it's going to cost us something. 